since you're here, why don't we go ahead and take a look? So this corner right here is still under development. I'm trying to figure out what else to put here, you guys. I have this big, beautiful mirror, which is literally like my dream mirror. And the couch starts there, but then I feel like there's just this big open space right here that I have literally no clue what to do with it. And my original thought before we moved in was that I'd make this corner like a little sitting corner and put maybe like one or two accent chairs here. I'm not really sure. Might need you guys to help me figure that out. Here, I had a friend suggest to me to put one of those couch tables here. I forget like the official name of them, but it's like a long table and they go behind the couch. Look at this mirror, you guys. Y'all will see me in this mirror all year long. Okay, this is a little accent rug. You can see it has like the geometric kind of texture in it. It needs to be vacuumed, so don't pay attention to that. And now we got little Alpha here who's upset because I got him to him for running across the street to the neighbors. When you don't know if strangers are nice people or not, what if they would have stole you from me? I still love you though. You love me? Yes. Okay, to the left when you walk in, I already have an entryway table. So this little corner is just really like a landing pad. So we have our little plant here, our entryway table. This is from Amazon. Basket underneath from Home Goods. This basket is where I just throw all of my purses, work bags, whatever I take to work. Typically the bag just gets thrown there. I got that from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off. Y'all know Hobby Lobby always has the sales. Circling around you guys to the living area. This is the area that I've been working so hard on in my YouTube shorts and it's still, still not finished. So do not be too quick to judge it. And I also was just laying on that couch. So all this stuff probably just needs to be fluffed out a little bit better, but y'all can kind of see the point and get the idea and i got a mini stepper there i'm trying to get this summer body right okay because we're traveling this summer and i need to get right so that's why the stepper is sitting right there but anyways this is our living room setup so those big cream and black pillows came from target wall art came from hobby lobby and so did the candle holders and yes those are real candles so when we light those that is real fire literally above our heads but it's pretty stable so and i've lit them a bunch and they've never fallen should probably knock on some wood and pray jesus please don't let those things ever fall honestly between now and when we were in el paso my styling of this couch has gotten so much better and just so much cleaner in el paso i just tried to throw a bunch of white with it and it just didn't work none of it flowed together and please y'all don't judge me for having that pillowcase taped up on the window i don't have a curtain that size to put up there yet i honestly think i want to do bamboo circling around to this table is old and will be replaced i just haven't figured out quite yet what i want to do a part of me really likes the open space, right? I like people being able to just walk. I like being able to sit on the floor. I can move my stepper back and sit in front of the TV and just step. A part of me likes it being open, but then another part of me knows that Rico is gonna want something to lay his drinks on, his food on whenever he's eating in the living room. So a part of me is wondering, well, should I just put some console tables behind the couch and go all the way back across. Moving on to the dining area. This is our dining table. Y'all saw me build this table and these chairs from scratch. They are both from Amazon. They are so cute and they match the aesthetic of our living area very, very well. The chairs and the table came from Amazon, like I said. Let me move this out of the way so we can not ruin the aesthetic the chairs and the table came from amazon like i said and the runner came from hobby lobby and so did the centerpiece so that's where those came from 
We have Alpha's little area over here. He has his box of toys and just other things that he uses. His water bowl and his food bowl is not down right now because I picked it up so that I can feed him. This is the big window that I am very excited to put curtains on. When I say caramel, it's probably gonna be similar to this color. If not exactly that color, maybe a little lighter, very similar to what's in this is probably what color the curtains are gonna be for this window and the two that are up there in the front. I'm gonna very quickly show you guys the half bathroom. Not really too, too much to see here. I do have a wooden abstract art thing going here and then I have some black accents, the black rugs course the toilet and I'm thinking about going back to Hobby Lobby and getting another one of those and kind of off putting them from each other so TBD on that but not really too too much to see here all right now on to my favorite area all these areas are my favorite but the kitchen is just a woman's place I tell you guys it really really is i'm really really in love with this kitchen i'm in love with the white drawers the white cabinets i'm in love with the fact that they're all soft clothes i'm in love with how big it is and spacious it is since it's getting dark i went ahead and turned the light on for you guys with this kitchen so that you can see her in all of her glory since she's so pretty i've never had a refrigerator ever in my life that had a water dispenser and that's just one small thing that i'm grateful for because we have not bought water bottles since we've been here and we've just really been able to rely on our tumblers and things so that's a small thing that I'm grateful for that you know some people may not feel like it's a big deal but to me since I've never had one it's nice for me to have one now these are our bar stools I am literally obsessed with these bar stools y'all like literally obsessed literally quite literally obsessed okay <laughs> like they spin around they're teddy material, so they're super soft. Alpha literally will get up here and fall asleep in these chairs. They are so soft. They're the perfect height, at least for my island. And they just look so nice and upscale to me. Like they look luxury to me. The only thing is they do catch things pretty easily. So sometimes I do find myself having to come and get some stuff off. But overall, they look really good. And since they're black, I don't really find myself getting any stains off of them or anything. So, you wanna get up there in that chair? And look at how deep this sink is, y'all. Isn't that so deep? It's so cute, I love it. This is probably one of my most favorite touches. A window above the sink where you can look out while you're doing the dishes. I absolutely love that. And of course, I've already put my lighting up underneath my cabinet, so it is nice and bright whenever you walk through here in the dark because they do automatically turn on. This one should turn on. There we go. Okay, I wanna know, are you guys ready for this pantry review? I have been working on this pantry for a little while now, and I'm really excited about how it's coming along. So let's just go ahead. So a lot of this stuff I did bring from El Paso, a lot of these containers. And then whenever I came here and saw how big of a pantry we were gonna have, I definitely was forced to add to it just to make the pantry look fuller. Um, all of this stuff came from Home Goods. I'm pretty sure every single thing except for those, those came from Amazon and I can link them below if you all are wanting to buy those. The jars came from Walmart for like five bucks. And also those containers that I'm not gonna use anymore, but they're still up there because they still have stuff in them. Those came from Walmart as well, but they are not gonna be a part of the aesthetic anymore once they are empty. Everything else in here did come from Home Goods. Okay, now Alpha's food is ready. Tuna, salmon, and rice. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys back through here. And we're gonna make our way up the stairs. Okay, so this is a little landing area. Let me turn the light on. This is a little landing area. I put my work jacket there. Other, like I wear that a lot around the house just whenever I get really cold. So I leave it there so I know where it is. My shoes for work are in there super often. Just trying to eliminate the going up, going down, going up, going down, going up, going down. So this is the landing area per se. And then also too, sometimes I'll sit on this bench and fold clothes on it or whatever. Right here is our washer and dryer. Right here is our linen closet with all of our towels and toilet paper. Washer. And dryer. Over here is our guest room, which if you would have asked me to show you this room a week ago, I would have said definitely not because it just now got to the point to where it even looks good enough to even show you guys. I'm telling you, it was a disaster stuff everywhere. If you can just imagine this entire room being so full to the point to where you couldn't even walk in it, that's what it looked like. But this weekend, since Rigo is coming back, like literally around the corner, I was like, I am gonna fix this room. My mom came over here and helped me really sort through stuff and throw stuff away. And that was a big help. And then from that point forward, all I had to do was just kind of organize the other stuff that we weren't gonna throw away in a good way to the point to where we could walk in here. So that's what we did. These are closets. And then over here we have the bathroom which is gonna get cleared out too, but this is the guest bathroom. That's what it looks like right now. It will to face some design changes as well. So we're just kind of chipping away or I'm kind of chipping away at it a little bit at a time, just doing what I can, you know? <laughs> so. Let's go back out. You ate your food, booby? Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you ate your food. Good boy. Yeah, you ready to play now? You got energy. Energy. You got energy. You got energy. Energy. Since I've cleaned this room out, Alpha has really, I just think he really thinks that this is his room now. He loves any room that doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it and just has a whole lot of floor space for him to play and bop around and rub his back on the carpet and just throw his toys around. Any room like that, he kind of claims it for himself. So I think he's liking this room a lot more since I went through and cleared it out. Going back over here to the other side, this is me and Rico's room. Let me turn the light on in here. This room is still under construction. <laughs> As you can see, there's literally a box over there that still isn't unpacked and then there's spray and wash right there, which I don't even know why it's right there, but this room is still under construction. We have pieces, but the stuff is fitting in this room a little different than it did in our El Paso room. And also too, this needs to be mounted. This is the TV stand. And the military broke this TV whenever they brought it here so it's broken I just have to take it downstairs so it can be thrown out <sighs> and we have to just get a new TV so there are obviously a lot of things that need to happen in this room this is a shoe thing that is I can't even really fully put it together because it's hard and I'm just gonna wait for Rico to do it there are a few things happening but at least the bed's cute <laughs> I don't know what I want to do in this corner yet I really feel like I want to put a big beanbag chair in the corner over there and if I don't do that then obviously I'll probably just do like the nightstand thing and then I don't know I've double dabbled with the idea of maybe like a vanity because the bathroom 
it's a little tight especially when me and Rico are in there together it's more so long and skinny let's just go ahead and go in there and look so this is the bathroom it's that long and skinny look like I told you guys this is our laundry basket bamboo everything in here is bamboo this is our shower I have two shower curtains up right now so that they meet in the middle. I did this whenever we first came and now I'm literally obsessed and I don't even really like the look of one shower curtain anymore. They have a little window in here, which I've never had a little window in my bathroom. So I really love this. It Natural light comes in it and it just makes me feel like I don't even have to turn the light on sometimes. Going behind the door, we have a closet. Me and Rico have way too, too much stuff for this townhouse. And the townhouse itself isn't like super small, but the storage area is super small, which is why the guest room looks the way that it does. So yeah, we're just having to get creative here. Even these are probably like temporary. The way this looks is really temporary. I just really needed a way to organize these clothes so that we weren't living in filth, essentially or what felt like filth. It wasn't filth, but it just felt like it was because nothing had a place and everything was everywhere. But one more sweep around the room. I gotta figure out what color curtains I wanna do in here. It'll probably be like a beige, something like this. And then I gotta figure out what I wanna do over here in this corner. I feel like maybe a lamp. If I do the two bean bags over here, or one big bean bag over here, make it more of a cozy thing, I'll probably do like a, a long big lamp over here we'll see I'm still thinking through it y'all give me some ideas and some tips that's Alpha's bed this is our full body mirror for upstairs and this is our closet or what they call a closet our closet in El Paso was so much bigger than this honestly I'm not even gonna lie to you guys all these are my clothes I just feel like having a closet this little bitty is criminal but it's okay because we're grateful Thank you, Jesus, for this home. Thank you, Jesus, for this closet. I appreciate it. Rico also has some of his clothes in the guest room, so. Yeah, we got clothes everywhere, don't we, booby? All right, you guys, that was my updated home tour. If I get anything else in the mail from Amazon, y'all know I will show you guys and update you on what that item look like and let's just get one last little sweep Thank you so much for watching my updated home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I build this house up and make it a home for me and Rico and of course Alpha, I'm gonna be updating you guys along the way. So make sure you tune in, watch my YouTube shorts, watch my YouTube videos so y'all can see what the finishing product of this townhouse ends up looking like, okay? I love you guys. Thank you for watching XOXO.